Not sure. Uh, we still don't know if we have the day off, so uh, anything's game uh, as of now. Cody, you, you seem to be really in the room kicking off and on, on, on your kicks. It, it, it's about as much as you've ever been in since you've been here, do you think? Uh, I'm, I'm hitting good on a couple of kickoffs. Uh, I haven't hit as well as I, I could have, kind of hitting them not, not so, uh, so good. But overall, I think I'm hitting pretty well. My field goals feel really good and uh, uh, just warming up and everything. I, I'm, me and Ryan and uh, Jake Lemke just got a, a really good groove going right now. So we're just, you know, really concerned with keeping that going. And, you know, just really as, you know, as the year goes on, you know, the, leg, the legs start wearing and tearing. So I'm just really, uh, really concentrating on keeping my kick, kick count down and uh, concentrating on my technique. Talk about the onside kick, how you saw it. Uh, I mean, coach called it up, and uh, that's a kick that I, I mean I pride myself on because we've gotten it twice before that. And uh, he called it up, and I saw that there was one guy right on top of me, and I knew Jay would get him. And when I kicked it, I saw him coming right at me, and I saw the you know the 10, 10 yards. And right when I saw the ten yards, I, I grabbed it. So uh, I don't know. I, I thought I had it, and it looked good on the replay, and all the replays we saw. But uh, apparently, the refs thought otherwise. When you guys line up in that, that two-point conversion or whatever that swing you did or whatever it is called, is there ever a, a play that you might get the ball or what do you think about when you guys line up and go for two? I know that's called on the field most of the time. Yeah, uh, if it's a good look, we'll go ahead and go for it. Um, there's, I mean, they come up with different stuff uh, every, pretty much every every other day to, to try to get that two points. So you never know who the ball could go to. Um, as long as someone's eligible, the ball can go to anybody. It can go to me. It can go to go to anybody, but yeah, that's something we work on, and I mean, if it's not there, we shift right back into uh, field goal, which is something I had to get used to, you know, kind of running over and making sure we get the kickoff in time for the uh, the play call. Does, does that mess up your timing, obviously? Uh, not too much. I mean, extra points, I mean, a pretty generic kick, so uh, I wouldn't want to do that in every field goal or anything, but on an extra point, once a game, it's not too bad. If you did get the ball, do you think you could score with it? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> How much do y'all kind of enjoy those those times when coach sends all those plays in whether it's to you or, or to Ryan or whatever. How much does players you know kind of really feed off that kind of that energy that you bring from that? Uh, I think it's good. I mean I mean uh, most teams go for the traditional one and I mean we do too but uh just to to throw the other team off and, and that gives the other team um that makes them kind of plan for that too so that gives them less time to you know plan for Say uh, our offense or something, uh, or defense. It, it's just a, a huge factor in the game, and we were, we're two for two on it. And uh, in both games, I think it was a huge play, a huge momentum swing, and uh, and uh, we we really feed off of it. How much do you practice with those onside kicks? You've been successful. <laughs> um, pretty much every day. I mean, uh, along with field goals and you know kickoffs, uh, those those are you know part of our repertoire as kickers. There's only so many kicks we can do, but that's one of the things that we can do over and over that our legs really getting tired. So that's something uh, I mean, I have all, all of us kickers doing every day so we can, you know, a scenario like that comes up, we can have, have the perfect kick. You ever kick one behind your other leg, so to speak? I know some kickers can do that. Um, I haven't. I saw the, the clip on ESPN where the guy did the little weird soccer trick and got it. That's, a, that's pretty impressive. Uh, so immediately, of course, we all tried to do that the other day, uh, but it, it's pretty tough. So uh, they had uh, Chris Boswell, I think his name for Rice, he did an incredible job on that. How did it work for you when you tried it? Not so good. I'm sure he tried it a little, uh, practiced it a little more than me. So maybe if I tried enough, I can get it down. On kickoffs, that lower ball that you sometimes hit, is, what's, what's the goal with that? Um, and when I, when I hit a ball like that, it's usually just a miss hit. Um, you know, there's no, there's no really excuse for it. Um, in the LSU game, it was really slippery, so I had trouble, I had trouble, you know, planting. But uh, you know, the the other kicks that I've done that, there's no excuse for it. That's just a miss hit on my part. I'm trying to kick it too hard, and I end up, uh, you know, kicking it, uh, kicking it too low, and uh, that's not what I'm trying to do. So that's definitely something I've been working on to try to fix that. If you hit one good, do you think you could put it in the first row of the stands? You know what, I've been trying. I hit the wall a couple times, but uh, I think by the end of the year, I, I mean, I'm, I got I got to hit one in there, so. Cody, how, 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 do you, how close do you have to watch yourself that you don't kick too much in practice? Um, it's definitely like a huge deal, just like a pitcher would in baseball. Uh, we don't, I mean, I kick twice a week, um, do onside kicks probably like three times a week. Um, so, and I get in the ice tub and it's just constantly trying to keep your legs fresh because I mean, coming in my freshman year, I remember we were just 
kicking so many kickoffs, and it just kind of, by midseason, my leg was, I was like, dang, this is going to be a long season. But uh, that's just something you, you learn as you go, how much you can kick, how much your body can take, and, and definitely uh, the, more you, the more you kick, the less fresh you're going to be on Saturday. So try to keep a, uh, a kick count on me so I don't kick too many balls and I'm uh, fresh on Saturdays. I've seen kickers do stuff where they kick, try and kick field goals to test their accuracy from like the sideline or something goofy or something like that. Do you, do, do you have any rituals and things like that where you try and do something and really try and fit in a really tight space or something? Um, like yeah, there's a, I worked on some of that today. Um, figured on the bye week, you know, uh, we would uh, work on some accuracy drills. There's stuff like that. You kick out, the goal of that is to kick on the line and you want to try to hit the line. And if you hit the line, virtually you can hit through a field goal post. And uh, there's drills where you go outside the hash marks and uh, pretty much makes the field goal post smaller. So uh, if you can hit that, then you would think you can hit a regular one. So there's there's drills like that. They correlate. Uh, I don't have any rituals like that. Um, for the most part, I work on the post, but uh, there are drills like that that I do work on for accuracy. Are you kind of the coach when you guys are kicking? Excuse me? I said, are you kind of the coach when you guys are kicking? Um, I mean, I'm definitely a, a, the leader out there, uh, me and Steven, uh, and then Jake Lumke and Forrest are definitely the leaders for snappers. They kind of just uh, try to coach up the young guys as much as we can because they're the future um, after this year. So we want, we want Auburn to be good after us. So we're definitely uh, doing what we can to get them uh, ready for next year. What do you say to Steve after uh, you know, the, the boss punt and kind of you know, put, her, put him in that situation? Did you see him? Did you talk to him after that? Uh, I mean, I try. When stuff like that happens, I mean, I know when I'm as a kid, the last thing I want is 20 people come over to me, but, like, you know, it's all right. But uh, and no one's no one's more mad than him at himself. So I kind of just left him to you know to his piece. I think that was the the best scenario for that because after that he uh, he punted better and uh, was able to uh, grasp the ball in the a wet scenario. What's that like as a player? You like missing missing a big kick or something like that? As the spotlight's clearly on you. It's not just like a missed tackle where some people don't always see the play. When you miss a kick, it's there's nobody. Yeah, um, it's tough because as a kicker or punter, we only get on the field so many times a game. So every time you want, you want to, you know, you want to show out and you want to, uh, you know, show everyone what you've been practicing for and you want to execute for your team. So when something like that happens, it's definitely, I mean, you're your hardest critic and you, you just want to fix it and you want to go to the side of the line. And, and your first instinct, instinct is to kick in the net 20 times and get a correction. But uh, the, the best thing to do is just kind of let it go. It happened. Um, you didn't want it to happen, but it happened, so you just got to move on to the next kick. Coach, where do you guys go to kick your practice? Um, we're kind of wherever the offensive defense is not. So we kind of just fit around them. We'll start on the main field and then maybe get kicked off to the side field and then eventually make our way into the indoor. So you never know. It's a, every, day is a, every day is different. <laughs>